Hello fellow Slowpoke enthusiasts and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an awesome, awesome mail opening. Um, I can't wait to jump into what I have here. This is a couple weeks worth of packages, um, a wide range of cards, some things that are not Pokemon, some sealed product, and some singles. I can't wait to show you what I have here and I will also be announcing my 2,000 follower giveaway. Um, I recently hit 2,000 followers on my Instagram and because of that I want to give away a couple of cards for some of my followers. Now there will be three giveaway winners. What this giveaway will entail is first place will get to pick first prize, second will pick second prize, third will pick um, well, third will get what the remaining prize is. So as the month goes on, I will be adding things to the giveaway. But to start off, the first giveaway prize will be a Lieutenant Surge's Raichu from the Gym Series. This is a beautiful card, a must have for any Pikachu or Raichu collector. So that's the first prize that you will get to pick from. The second prize, is a Delicati EX from EX Crystal Guardians. A beautiful card if you are a cat lover or just trying to collect some of those old school EXs. And the final card is a Walrin EX. How this is gonna work is as we get closer to the end of the giveaway, which will be the end of September, I will be adding to these three lots. So as of now, they only contain one card. But I'm going to continue adding so that when you pick this, it comes with a bunch of other cards. And you'll see what I mean as um, other videos come out. But this video will be the video that you will have to comment on to be entered into the giveaway. So how it's going to work is I'm going to use the random YouTube comment picker to select the three giveaway winners from the comments in this video. In order to receive your prize, you must be subscribed to Fried Slowpoke Tail on YouTube. If you follow me on Instagram as well, that's great, but this is going to be a giveaway that happens exclusively through this YouTube video. So please make sure that you are subscribed and that you have commented on this video in order to be entered into that giveaway. So thank you everyone for helping me hit 2,000 followers. I don't really aim to have that go up, but I am a firm believer that you must celebrate everything. So every 500, every 1,000, I'm happy to see that there's more people getting involved with my page and I'm happy to help out in any way that I can. So keep an eye glued to the channel to see what cards get added to the giveaway because as I release videos this month, every video will show the cards that are getting added and a reminder to put your comment in this video. So let's get into the mail opening. I have a bunch of things. This right here is from my friend Marty, always hooking it up, not so shiny Garchomp. And before I show the mail, I wanted to say one thing because I noticed it as I was looking through my mail um, today. You're going to see me mention um, a lot of the same people. The shout outs that I give will be from a lot of the same people. I have a pretty tight knit community of friends and collectors who work together to help further each other's collection. So, so Marty was featured in I think all three of my mail opening videos and both of my PSA send off videos because he is always, always looking out. Just a great dude to work with, to talk to, um, and to help get some cards. So what we have right here are the XY Evolutions Elite Trainer Boxes. The colors on these things are insane. But the greatest thing about these is that there was a restock at Walmart just recently. Um, check your local Walmart, they still might be in stock. If there's no Pokemon collectors in your area, there's a good chance that they're still there. Um, but they got restocked for $30. and what a lot of people are doing, and I can't blame them, are picking these boxes up so that they can sell them for what they're going for on eBay. But Marty is that dude, and he just asked that I paid shipping. I mean, that's completely reasonable and got these for me uh, for my collection. So I'm gonna be really happy to get these into my sealed collection, which I'll be doing a video on in the near future. Um, thank you so much for helping me add these to my collection. Look at the colors on these things, dude. Oh my God. The only bad thing about these boxes is 
that there's no Venusaur box. Um, but what are we going to do? I am excited to see what will happen for these boxes in the future. I think they were before the restock going for like 80 to 100 on eBay. Now I'm seeing them for like 60. So I got them for a little bit less than half of what they were worth. So that's a pretty good thing um, to have. So I'm going to give the camera a flip real quick to open up a piece of mail from um, Heather and Parker. Uh, they've changed their names recently, so I will tag them in the video so that you can see their pages. Another two accounts that I've shouted out in a past video because again, I work with a lot of the same people. We have each other's backs and we've already have an established relationship. We know we're not going to get scammed. We know that we're giving each other good deals. And so for that reason, um, you will again see me mention a lot of the same people many times. So uh, what this is, is Dragon Ball Super Cards. Some of you may know uh, about these things already, but I collect all of the Shenron cards that come out from Dragon Ball Super. I just like Shenron. I think he's pretty cool and iconic. So Parker had posted a Shenron for sale on his page. I immediately wanted to buy it. And then Heather included all of these awesome extras in them. So this is an event pack. I'm not really too sure about Super. I don't keep up with it more than just buying the Shenron cards that come out. So I will be opening this once we get through these cards here and we'll see what is in that pack. But this, oh my God, it's so cool. Sin Shenron card. Look at that gold embroidering on this card. Jesus, fuck, it's so cool. Um, but here is the big boy and why I really wanted to get these cards was because of this crazy Shenron. And it was funny because she was like, do you know what card it is? And obviously I have no idea about Dragon Ball Super. So I just like drew a figure eight and I was like, it kind of looked like this. Um, and she knew exactly what card I was talking about. And then all of these extras, this Gotenks card with this gold embroidering is insane. So they had told me that like these, although these ones, these cards look really, really cool. Apparently they're not too expensive. So, but to the untrained eye, they're really, really super awesome cards. So I'm glad to have these in my collection. I have a very, very small Dragon Ball Super collection. I don't ever really look up the values of them. So I'm happy to just add cards that are cool. Um, and look at this. How are you gonna tell me this card isn't like a $50 card? There are all, every Saiyan and Piccolo on here doing one attack together. This is crazy. I bet this card's probably worth like a penny or something, but I love it. And I'm glad that I don't know the value of it because I can assign the value to it. And that's one of the good things about, oh my goodness, Dragon Ball Super is I stay out of the market so I, I can just get these cards and be happy with them. Man, this thing is crazy. Look at the gold. Whew, man, I don't understand. I don't get it. Wow, that's a cool one. I don't really know her. She must have happened in a series that I didn't watch. But yeah, Trunks, my boy. My favorite character from Dragon Ball Z. As many people, uh, Trunks is just the coolest. So, Heather Parker, thank you so much. Let's see what is in this uh, little event pack here. So I asked, after I received the mail, I was like, uh, do I open this thing? Because I was worried that like it was something rare or, you know, I, I don't know. Oh, it says here on the back what can be in it, apparently. Card name, uh, red, blue, green. It doesn't have the rarity, so I really don't know. But Master Roshi, that would be cool to get. Bulma, that would be cool to get. Um, Kaioken Goku, that'd be cool. So let's see which one we can pull. It's pretty neat. It's a single card pack. I like how they package the promos. You still kind of get the enjoyment of doing a pull. So let's see. Which one do we have here? Oh, Boma! Yeah, man, that's one of the ones that I wanted. Nice, awesome, wow, and that's like a really cool hollow too. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. Wow, that couldn't have been a better card. I love Boma. She rocks. Nice. Thank you so much, Heather Parker. I really appreciate all the extras that you included there. I appreciate that you guys always have Dragon Ball Super cards in stock and every card. So if you guys are ever looking for these, if you're ever looking to just get some cool cards and aren't really concerned about the values of them, these are the people to go to. Okay, next up, we have a package from my friend over at 
Rambler Collectors. Um, he is a good friend of mine who I've done a bunch of trades with in the past. I actually sold him a PSA 9 uh, first edition jungle uh, P first edition jungle Pidgeot and I've never let him live it down because that card's price has gone up so much and I thought it was so beautiful and I was like oh I'm just gonna buy one down the road but I did not and here we are with another trade from Rambler. So I had traded him a Shining Legends box for these cards. Um, he had something that I really wanted which you will see here uh, and I asked him, you know, what is he looking for? And he asked me if I had any Shining Legends cards. And I said, well, no, I don't have any Shining Legend cards, but I do have a Shining Legends box, uh, the Raichu collection. So I traded him the Raichu collection for these three cards. So let's see what they are. You are kidding me. This is the best card out of Darkness of Ways. I... I cannot believe that I have this card. I'm so happy, and this was the major part, part of the trade, was to get this Salamence VMAX, this Rainbow Rare Salamence VMAX for my collection, because I love Rainbow Rares so much, and I just think that what they've done with these new ones, adding the texture and the pattern to the card, really brings out the best in the card. Let's check it out. Let's check out the, oh, we double sleeved it. Rambler, you the best, man. Oh, yeah. This card is fantastic. I'm pretty sure he pulled it himself. So I always love when I do trades and it comes directly from the person who pulled it. I now know that I'm the only, the second owner of this card and I will take very good care of it. Next up, we have a Galarian Slowbro. Yeah. So there was a little bit of difference in value between this and the box. So I was like, can you throw in the Galarian Slowbro? because I don't have him yet, and I have a Slowbro collection, and sl obviously a Slowpoke collection, so we've got this boy with his arm cannon, Mega Man Slowbro, really happy to have him. I don't know how playable he is. Maybe he's pretty good, he has an ability. Rapid Fire Poison. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is active spot, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poison. Isn't there, is it Toxicity? Do something with poison? Maybe he's really good with Toxicity. So that's a cool card. And the last one is Scorch V. So I do play in Standard and I don't have a deck for uh, the Darkness of Blaze block. So I have a good amount of Scorches now. I might consider making this deck. Fire is always really strong. Um, I like cards with an unlimited damage output and Scorch has that. So these beautiful cards, courtesy of Rambler Collection, Thank you so much. I appreciate them. I will tag him in the video description as well. Already you can see that this mail haul is a really, really good one. I'm excited to get into doing the rest, show you everything that I have. So let's get into the next package. All right. This mail here is actually a completion of my TCG player order that I discussed in my last video. So, uh, it, Whoa, what's this? It looks like they've given me some type of coupon for a Yu-Gi-Oh thing, um, which maybe I'll take them up on. I, I don't think that there's any harm in having sealed product from every card game. Um, so I have to look into that. So thank you to Real Good Deal cards over on TCG Player. One thing that's kind of frustrating, you can tell, I just pulled this thing out of the, the out of the, uh, mailer and it doesn't have a top loader on it luckily it didn't suffer any damage but it's just weird like it's 2020 people put it in a top loader it's a single card it doesn't affect the postage at all the only time that it affects the postage postage is if you have like more than three cards more than three top loaders in the mailer and even then you can kind of like sp spread them in a way where it doesn't affect the postage and here it is snorlax v max full art the last card I need to complete the page in my binder for cards from Rebels Clash um, and Sword and Shield base set. So I will get my binder out so you can see what I'm talking about. But I am very, 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 very excited to have that Snorlax finally, finally make it in. After I got my refund from the TCG player seller, who swore 
on his life that he had shipped everything out and I'm still waiting. I had to reorder and there it is. Snorlax VMAX finishing up this beautiful page of cards that I have put together here. I love it. I have the Snorlax regular art, full art, and VMAX. Regular art, full art, and VMAX. Now on my next page, you can see I'm starting to do the same thing. Regular art, full art, VMAX. Regular art, full art, regular art, full art. And obviously I'm missing some for the Salamance. I still need the regular art and the full art. I need the regular art Houndoom and then I will be done. I kind of want the Butterfree as well, but I'm not really going out of my way to get that. If it comes, it comes, no big deal. I'm really happy to have had that finally be resolved because look, it was $20, but that's a big deal. Any amount of money that you give to someone for a service that isn't fulfilled is a big deal. You deserve to have your, your, your product. You deserve to have your refund or an answer for why you don't have the product. Now, this seller that I bought this item from two months ago, when I reached out, had given me his reason that COVID had affected his shipping time. Now, I don't just buy cards. I sell cards all the time and I haven't had anything affected by COVID. Right now, I'm having some delays due to the changes in the, in the postal service, but other than that, I haven't really seen any delays. No one who I've shipped any cards to has experienced any delay whatsoever. So, you know, and even if, even if it was two or three months and I'm still waiting, right? So where is the card? Now I'm not receiving any answer. The, the best that I can do is leave a negative feedback, but listen, communicate with the person that you're selling cards to and that you're buying cards from. It is a business relationship from the second that I enter my card information in to buy a card from you. And I, I'm making YouTube videos all the time. You know, I, I'm letting people know and see my experience. So it's, it's a good piece of advice to make sure that you send out cards to every person you send cards out to as if they have the ability to show the world. So, you know, I, I, I'm I happy that I finally have my cards in from a different seller. Thank you. Um, a little upset that they didn't come in in a top loader, but that's okay. You know, I've got the cards now and they were safe. If they were damaged, I would have said something, but they were not. So let's jump into the second to last box. And boy, this one's a doozy. Okay. So my friend, Dope West, over at Instagram. Um, it, uh, I don't even know where to begin. So I posted a list of cards that I was looking for from Darkness Ablaze. And Ryan messaged me with pictures of these cards. And I said, great, you know, what What do you want? What do you want to trade for them? And he says, don't worry about it, bro. I'll send them to you for free. And I'm like, what? Like, no way. You know, absolutely not. These are these cards just came out. They're they're high in demand. I want them. I have to at least send you something in return. So, um, I do. I make a package of of three cards for the three cards that I was looking for. And when he sends me a picture of the envelope, it's a box. And I said, bro, what what are you doing? What's in that box? Why is it so big? And he said, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna send you everything that I pulled. So what we have right here is an entire booster box worth of pulls from Darkness Ablaze that Ryan sent to me for free. I, I was so guilty and felt so bad because I, the three cards that I sent him for the three cards that I wanted, it was fair, but I had no idea that he was gonna do this. So, uh, Brian, I'm gonna have to hook you up, man. The next time we do a trade or or a whatever, anytime you need cards, you gotta let me know. I owe you one big time, big time. So let's see. Butterfree V, nice. This is one of the ones that I was looking for. So now I'll have to just get the full art and the um, v Max to have all three of them. Beautiful. I love Kanto Pokemon so much, as so many other people do. They're the first gen Pokemon. How can you not? 
So that's one of the reasons why I wanted this card. This was actually one of the three that I had in my original list that I sent over to Ryan. Next up, MuV. Yes, nice. This is another one of the ones from the list that I sent to Ryan as well. Um, I needed this to match my Celebi. Uh, I think they're going to look really great together. As a matter of fact, let's see how they look together right now. Here they are, Celebi V and Mew V together. Two mythical Pokemon. Beautiful, beautiful cards. They didn't get full art treatment, unfortunately, but they still look great together, and I'm happy to have both of them in my collection, and that's why I wanted this Mew to match that Celebi. Thank you so much. Next up, and there he is. That's the big daddy, Charizard V. Another one of the, oh my God. Another one of the cards that I, that I was trying to trade for that Ryan insisted on just sending me. I am so, so unbelievably grateful, dude. You have no idea. So Dope West and I, Ryan and I have been uh, buying and trading and selling cards to each other back and forth for pretty much all of the time that I've been on Instagram. And this is where, again, I can't stress enough the importance of making relationships in the hobby, of making relationships with people, of not taking advantage of the people who help you out. These are humans. You are not dealing with an automated system where you put in an order and a card gets spit out and shows up to you in the mail a couple months later. You're dealing with people who are taking their time to help you with your collection. And, and when you do good things for people, good things happen to you. So it's, it can't be a hobby where you're just trying to get the most out of every situation that you're in, as so many people do. Be good to the people who are good to you and things will be good for you. So let's see, the, now that means the rest of these cards, the rest of these one, two, three, four, five, six cards are all extras in the trade. I, I, I don't even know, I don't even know. I didn't see the cards, well I guess he had them posted on his story, but I didn't really look at what else he pulled in his box because I, I, didn't, I didn't want them. Um, but I mean, I, I want them, I'm glad that I have them, but I didn't, wasn't looking for them. So I'm glad to add these to my collection. Let's see what they are. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. See, one step closer to that Scorch deck. Scorch V and Scorch V Full Art. I love having complete art sets of cards. This is beautiful. This is, this is perfect. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, I think I'm just missing the V Max now, and then I'll have the whole, the whole set of three there. Damn, that's a nice card. He's so cool. I have him on my team in Sword and Shield as well. I like when he does that thing where he scrunches up like an accordion and shoots. Next up. Oh, there, whoa, there he is. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There it is, the full set. Scorch V, Fall Art V, and V Max all together. Now I can get started on making this deck. I think maybe I would need one more V Max and I can start getting this put together. Wow, man, thank you so much. Look, you can see how long he is in this picture because when he goes VMAX, uh, Dynamax, he actually grows like crazy. Bro, oh my goodness, fuck, crazy. Look at his mustache. Nice, dude, sick, sick. Sick stuff, I'm sweating right now. Then we have a big, oh, the secret rare, big parasol, gold item. So I actually have a page of gold items. I can add this to them. As I don't know how good this is. Let's see. As long as the Pokemon this is attached to is in the active spot, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent done to all of your Pokemon. Whoa. Damage is not in effect. So if your Pokemon is going to be paralyzed, if it's going to be put to sleep or poisoned or it's going to be switched from your active to your bench then big parasol prevents all of it effects of all attacks from your opponent's pokemon to all of your pokemon so if centiscorch v max is in your active with big parasol attached to it and you have these three on your bench he's protecting all of those pokemon that's a crazy card man it's pretty cool it's gold too i don't i only have i think nine gold item card. So this will be my 10th gold item card. So that's pretty cool. Next up. Oh shit. <laughs> 
Eternus V Max. Damn. Fuck, the big alien hand. I know this guy's really good. If all of your Pokemon in play are dark type, you can have up to eight on your bench. Man, that's probably really good and expanded with Zoroark. Um, and you can and you can't put non-dark type on your bench. But this attack that he has does 30 times the amount of dark Pokemon in play. So if it's three times eight, I mean 30 times eight, then that's a lot of damage. So even with Skyfield, you can probably get that damage up a little bit higher. So fuck, that card's crazy. Look how crazy that thing is. The fucking big alien hand. Crazy stuff. Next. Slowbro, yeah! Start the horde, start the horde, start the horde. Got the double blaster. Slowbro V, nice. Can't go wrong with adding Slowbro cards to my collection. There is nothing I enjoy more than Slowbro. <laughs> Pierce, nice. A Pierce, he's like the rocker dude uh, from Sword and Shield. Dark type trainer. He's pretty cool. I have a full art trainer page. I don't have any full art trainers from the Sword and Shield expansion. I have three Rainbow Rare trainers from the Sword and Shield expansion, but this will be my first. This will be my first full art trainer from the Sword and Shield expansions. Really crazy. He's a great trainer too. He's super strong. Um, happy to have him in my collection. And we have three dark guys all together here, so that's pretty cool. And the last card from Ryan's package is a wall. God. Dude, you outdid yourself. Honestly, Ryan, I I I am I'm floored, dude. Thank you so much for for what you did here in sending this package. I I can't express enough how shocked I was to see these cards, to have these cards and to know that you sent them to me out of the kindness of your heart. I really appreciate the relationship that we've built over the last couple of years, and I really, really, really look forward to continuing that relationship as both of us continue to grow our collection. So thank you so much again, Ryan. I appreciate you more than you could ever know. I want to come out and say again, um, because this is the second time that someone has sent me something out of the kindness of their heart, and it is... It makes me feel so good and yet so bad at the same time because I'm so happy that that you guys value this relationship as much as I do. But at the same time, I always wish that I had sent more. So um, I, you know, thank you again. I, I can't I can't express that enough. We have one last package to get into, and so let's let's just do it. Okay, so the last thing that I got is my darkness ablaze booster box so i'm not going to uh discuss the seller i'm not going to explicitly mention the seller's name um because i'm starting to feel less and less happy with the service that i've been provided so as i've talked about um relationships and the hobby and doing things for people that do things for you um, I, I, I feel like I keep getting burned in these situations where I deal with this one seller in particular. So the story is, I bought a Darkness Ablaze booster box from them for a, a, a good price. It was not too much, it was not too, too little. Um, and I explicitly said, you know, please make sure that it's packaged carefully because I will be adding it to my sealed collection and I will not be opening it. So they said, okay. Uh, absolutely no problem and then when I received the booster box it was in a like bubble mailer envelope so obviously it's gonna receive damage in shipping there's no way that you can send a box like this in a large bubble mailer envelope and not expect that it receives damage so obviously when it got to me I sent them a message and I said you know look here are the points of damage and I sent it and pointed it out in a video and they said I'm sorry for the inconvenience if you can ship it back to us we can send you another one. Here are two boxes. Which one do you like better? I said, okay, that's good service. So I picked one of the boxes and then I asked, I was like, well, am I gonna be compensated for the for the return shipping? Because now I've bought the box and now I'm paying like $7 for shipping. So I'm paying like, you know, seven to $10 more on the box than I would have. And I needed to deal with all of this extra nonsense. So they said, yeah, we'll, we'll compensate you for the thing by including some extras in your package. So they sent me a message upon receiving my booster box to tell me that the one that I had originally picked out was now 
sold and they had another that they can send me so luckily this one was in good condition but it's just all extra stress that I didn't want to deal with so this showed up and I was excited to see what they included for the uh, inconvenience and it was a pack of unbroken bonds in a dollar store um, pack which was fun to open um, and you know I'm glad I have this now but all of that was just too big of an inconvenience so moving forward I will be looking for someone else somewhere else to buy my booster boxes from that can ensure me that they're going to come in a good condition so I now have one two three four five sealed booster boxes and I will be making a video in the future that discusses all of the sealed booster boxes that I have why I bought them and what I plan to do with them in the future but this one looks pretty good it's pretty clean um, and I have no complaints about this box now that I have it in my hand so everyone that was a lot of mail I am I am going to have to do a lot of organizing uh, to get everything into place where it needs to be thank you again to rambler collector dope west heather and parker over at dr zeno and ultra instinct mew i remember their names now and everyone honestly everyone who follows me subscribes buys cards trades cards sells cards everyone who's involved in pokemon in one way or the other i appreciate having you there um, to work with, to trade with, and, and make our collections grow. Make sure that you comment on this video for a chance to win uh, one of these three cards along with the extra prizes that will be added over the course of the month. Um, I can't wait to see who wins. I can't wait to get these things shipped out to you, but we're going to have to wait a month for that to happen. So um, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And be sure to check out the other accounts that I tagged in the description. If you ever want to trade, if you ever want to sell cards, if you ever want to buy something from me, go ahead and let me know. I always feature every trade that, I've, that I do in my videos. So um, it's just a way to get more people involved and active in the Pokemon community. One last update. So the PSA send off, my first PSA send off video that I posted on my YouTube video has just been logged in PSA. So that means that they are acknowledging that they've received my cards, which it actually kind of took a little long, um, but we should be getting more updates as the month rolls out and we're one step closer to having those cards back in our hand, opening those cards up, showing you what we got, and going through those grades together. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you slow posts later.